Hello and welcome to the channel. A slightly different format today. When I actually received the parcel and unboxed the parcel with this watch, I thought I'd rather do the first impression unboxing kind of video before I do the in-depth review. So let's turn the camera and have a look what Royal Mail delivered today. This is the latest version of this watch. I have to say I'm quite impressed how San Martin incorporates feedback from reviewers and customers and turns it around with such agility. This is a bit of a holiday treat for myself, to be quite honest, with quite a few big brands introducing bronze cases to their lineup recently, like Oris and Tudor, for example. I thought at $200 price tag, this is a must-have. Well, for me, anyway. This is, of course, a homage to Captain Willard Seiko. However, Seiko, at the point of filming this video, does not make bronze case watches. Not that I know of. If you know of any bronze Seikos, please let us know in the comments. San Martin thought of everything here. NATO strap or NATO style strap, spare spring bars to fit it and, of course, spring bar removal tool. Brilliant! And we get a couple of abrasive bars to maintain the bronze case patina, which starts building up the minute we remove the wrapping from the case. Quite a unique look. Right, so we've got 24 months warranty card and yes, it was stamped on the 5th of December and I'm recording this on 11th of December. Yes, shipment to UK 6 days in December. <laughs> I am very impressed. Dial, I love the color, very rich green, the sunburst effect and yes, we've got San Martin applied logo, which seems to be everyone's favorite. The hands, the cap on the second hand in the central pinion makes it look very clean. To be quite honest, I actually thought those are just renders on the product listings, but no, this is how it physically is. Little second hand that does have a little bit, little cap. Loom. Right, the first impression, it is very strong. I didn't charge it with UV light, uh, this is just on the studio lights and on the light outside. I will compare it to other watches in the upcoming in-depth review, but from my first impression, yeah, I can tell you it looks very, very strong. Right, crystal looks like there is a slight curvature to the sapphire crystal. It looks double domed, however, there is a slight distortion at the sharp viewing angle, like a sort of combination of double dome with a little bit of a single dome. Hopefully camera picks it up. Of course, we have a bronze case, polished and brushed. Crown is actually quite substantial. I think it is a notch larger than the steel dive Captain Willard homage I have. Okay, let's move the hands out of the danger zone before I change the date. Crown operation is good, the threading is smooth and of the right length. Bezel action. Okay, I actually was a bit concerned how the bronze bezel action is going to be. Well, looks like my concerns were for nothing. It is really good. There is pretty much no back play and Check the alignment, looks like it is spot on. Okay, the leather strap looks substantial, looks like it really means business. Probably at least 3 mm thick. Apparently this is an upgraded leather strap, it does feel quality, it's soft. The stretch marks though stay and go and some stay right. <laughs> it will be interesting to see how it actually ages. Yes, of course, we have a quick removal spring bars. I guess this is the reason San Martin included additional spring bars for the NATO canvas strap. Let's throw it on my about 7 inch wrist. Right, well, my first impression is of quality and the use of rich colors and color combination makes the dial really pop. All right, look, the deep dive review is coming. I'm waiting on delivery of more quite exciting watches. So like, subscribe and all that good stuff so you don't miss it. And of course, 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.